Hello, welcome to StreetPixel. In this video, we are going to discuss about how to customize your user interface in 3ds Max. Now, after 2018, 3ds Max has introduced some of the features which was not uh, was not available before that, and which can help an artist to customize their user interface. So. First of all, uh, first of them was is a docking system which was not there earlier in 3ds Max. Now you can see every uh, uh, window there, uh, uh, there, every window apart from the viewport and all, uh, you will see some dotted lines around there, which actually indicates that these uh, elements of your viewports can be removed, can be removed or replaced in, in, into different uh, places. Now if I click onto them. And I just drag them. You can see I can uh, came out. Uh, I, I can bring out the viewport layout tabs, and I can really uh, you know dock it to a different uh, place. And that's how I can actually uh, either if uh, if if I want to replace or relocate it into a different place, or simply I can uh, just close them on off earlier, which was not possible in this in this manner. Now, which which I felt sometimes really really helpful for for some of the animators, which I uh, I was actually discussing that they they really like their you know uh, they wish their uh, uh, this timeline bar was not on the bottom but on the top. So this is something really, really helpful to them. The so so that you can bring it on the top, uh, just like that. Yeah. So now when when I'm already in my uh, in my screen and I just want to play the the button. I don't have to worry about uh, the distraction on the on the bottom. It's because it's it's over there, and and uh, uh, there are a lot of lot of people who are coming from a different softwares like uh, let's suppose uh, Adobe Flash or maybe Adobe Animate, where uh, a lot of people are actually habituated by uh, you know uh, moving the timeline from a top viewport, a top part of the viewport. They they really. Uh, they really do enjoy this this particular features because they they don't have to every time shuffle from uh, top to bottom and all. So this is something really helpful which I found. And one one more one more really cool thing that they have introduced is how uh, how we can you know remove the buttons and all from from our viewport. Let's suppose I don't I really don't need this mirror button and all. So what I can do is I can press Alt and just click and drag and uh, uh, leave it to a, a viewport and say I yes I can uh, delete this particular button and it will be removed from from the uh, from the uh, from the shortcut uh, button systems over there shelves or shelves so and uh, you can bring it out from customize and go to customize user interface and yeah let it be load yeah so I go to uh, go to the uh, toolbars and then you just have to find out the uh, mirror option a it's chronologically set in terms of the alphabet Move mirror mirror yeah this one so mirror after uh, getting that I just simply have to drag and drop this particular uh, uh, button over there and immediately you can see you can have your old uh, uh, button system over here even if you if you uh, don't do that just uh, you can just drag and drop you have to press alt and drag and then you have to delete it and let's suppose this one also alt and drag and just just delete it so maybe sometimes you might feel uh, you know what it's all messed up I, I want to reset that thing so go to the uh, workspace and you can just uh, reset to the default state and immediately you can see the uh, the uh, 3ds max will uh, reload all the uh, uh, default tabs and buttons of of your of your you know it's like a factory settings you are just uh, setting it up uh, your user interface into a into a very default state so I hope this feature will help uh, uh, and uh, help some of the artists who would like to do the uh, user interface customization from their own. Thank you very much. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and 
follow us in Facebook and Twitter. Thank you.